Hi everyone, welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 3. We are in the 26th episode of this series and we have Akhil here with us who has been recently placed at Bajaj Finserv as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us. But before we talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. So all students belonging to the computer science and circuit branches were eligible provided they had a CGPA of 6 or 60% in their 10th, 12th as well as in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Akhil to understand his experience interviewing with Bajaj Finserv. So let's get started. Hi Akhil, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Thank you. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Okay, so I am Akhil Nair and I am pursuing B.Tech in Electronics and Computer Engineering and I am from BIT Chennai. Okay. Uh, I am coming from Kochi, uh, Kerala. So that's pretty much about myself. And I also got placed in Bajaj uh, FinServer recently. Okay, okay, that's great. Thank you. Uh, you cannot tell us about the hiring process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Okay, so Bajaj FinServer uh, came and uh, lot of branches were eligible most of them were from CSE and uh, also electronics and other branches were also eligible okay and the criteria was almost like uh, six CGPA for uh, in UG as well as in uh, plus two as well as 10 hmm. and then uh, there were two rounds uh, that is first round was aptitude round almost everybody who applied were able to write the first round that is aptitude round okay they asked general questions in aptitude like uh, mathematics as well as English questions Hmm. Uh, so everybody who passed the aptitude round had to give a technical round. Hmm. So technical round depended on which role we applied for. There okay. were four roles that is uh, back end, then the role that I applied for that is data engineering, hmm. then there was sales force as well as microservices. So depending upon which role you gave, the test actually differed. People who gave for back end had to do an API round. Okay. Uh, the people who gave for data engineering, that is my role, had to do a test that uh, they had to go to the lab and do the test. Okay. In that test, there was one uh, technical question, that is one coding question, hmm. where you had to uh, code uh, one other thing like in recursion. And then there were questions related to uh, Python as well as SQL, since it's data engineering, hmm. as well as PySpark. Okay. More like pseudocode, how to solve the pseudocode, hmm. uh, find out the error in the code. Hmm. So this were, these were the uh, technical questions that was there in data engineering. Right. Salesforce as well as microservices also had different type of tests depending upon uh, hmm. their requirement. Okay. So people who passed this test had to go and give the interview in Bellor. Okay. For Salesforce and microservices, the interview was online. On the very same day, they gave the test. Okay. For others, like data engineering as well as for the backend, uh, the interview was in Bellor the next okay. day. Okay. So we had to go to Bellor and give the uh, test. Hmm. So for me, basically, I participated in the hackathon. So okay. I ha I was able to cut both the coding around and was directly selected for the interview. Okay. Uh, this hackathon, usually Bajaj conducts hackathon every year during mm. vacation, mm. Uh, where there will be uh, several problem statements. It's called as HackRx. Mm. So if you apply for that, like this time there were over 1,000 teams who applied for it. Okay. And top 36 teams will get selected for the final showdown in Pune. Mm. You have to go there. So. We uh, were there in top 10 as well as the best in our particular problem statement. Okay. So anybody who go for the final showdown, mm -hmm. if they are eligible, like the fourth year and course wise, if they are eligible for the particular uh, placements and if they are interested, whenever Bajaj comes to the campus, they can directly go to the interviews. They okay. don't have to write the test. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the opportunity for people like if they want to directly go for the interviews, they right. can uh, okay. go for the hackathon, try it mm -hmm. out, you'll get good goodies as well as uh, you'll get to meet the mentors like managers, MDs mm -hmm. of different mm -hmm. Bajaj mm -hmm. branches. Mm -hmm. So coming on to the technical interview, uh, my interview was in Vellore and mm -hmm. uh, there were over, over 70 people who were doing giving interview that day for two roles, mm -hmm. generic uh, software development as well as for uh, data engineering. Okay. There was no group discussion, so all of us had to go one by one. Hmm. So people who gave the hackathon, their interview was last. So my interview was in the very last, like I was the third last person to give the interview. Okay. Uh, the interview, uh, I would say, was a, was a moderate experience. We ha I had two rounds. One was technical round and then HR round. Okay. The interview, I had a moderate experience. Uh, hmm. They are majorly focusing on whatever role we are chosen. If we have done projects based on that hmm. or uh, if we have enough knowledge or whatever we have done, we have done it ourselves or if we are able to do it. So my interview majorly revolved around my resume hmm. and since I participated in the hackathon, they asked me to explain the entire project, whatever we did there. Right. And since it is related to my role, they asked me to code uh, 
a portion from that mm. particular hackathon and mm. explain it mm. then we went around all the projects that have done all the skills that have acquired related to this particular role they, are, okay. they didn't go uh, off to any other thing mm-hmm. then they again took one of my projects and asked me to code that particular project as well mm. so i had to do two coding questions in around 20 minutes my interview was short and crisp it went for 20 minutes mm. so i had to explain a lot of stuff uh, all of the tech related to my role that is python and sql okay. and then code in python for uh, around 20 minutes i had to do two codes mm. so that was uh, my technical round mm. um, for almost for everybody it went the same way okay for people who didn't have enough experience in the role that they applied for they will ask uh, questions related to that particular tech okay. that uh-huh. is if they don't have an already like internship or project based on that they will ask like uh, wo- some general questions based on that mm. after that in the hr round so the hr person like normal uh, hr questions like why interested in this role mm. and all those mm. stuff and he wanted to know how i stood out from other candidates and uh, asked me to explain something other than my cv mm. so uh, hr round was almost as lengthy as uh, Uh, the technical round almost 20 minutes i had to sit with the hr and he was focused on how much i am interested in this particular role like if i am oriented to work in this company mm. and questions were revolving around that okay. he was going back and forth uh, to see my determination to join this company mm. so uh, that's how the hr round went uh, okay. some of my friends like hr is also an elimination round in bajaj mm. so all of these rounds are elimination rounds even hr is elimination mm. uh, almost like uh, half to not half the people is 30% of the people who went for hr got rejected oh, so okay. they are checking our determination so if you are not very much interested or aligned with the company's policies you will get rejected in hr round as well right okay so that's pretty much the experience that i have okay that's great congratulations again and thank you do you have any suggestions or anything that you want to share that you learned from your uh, experience with placements Okay so I have gone for like attended so many like interviews in so many companies mm. so most of the companies that came this year they were focused on their particular role like how much we are uh, apt for that particular role and they are focused on people who can deliver or come to that particular role so mm. whatever we are applying for be sure that you well versed in that particular role mm. like you have done a good background research on how to do stuff properly Right. and all of the uh, uh, test also usually revolves around that only the role that you apply for so whatever you apply for uh, you have to be you have to do a good background search and mm. you have to be very good in that right. and the projects that you listed in your resume you should be very like you should revise the projects before going there they might mm. ask you to code based on that mm. most of the uh, interviews usually like half of them goes around for the resume then only they'll go for the technical questions if you are not well versed in that itself that's a very ba- like bad black mark so you have to be good in the projects that you hmm. given your resume you should be like uh, you have you should do a good research before going like that's one of my suggestions that i can give like research should be done on the company as well as like what are the goals uh-huh. because some companies reject in the hr round as well so right. if your uh, orientation is not according to the company's hmm. orientation even though you might be very skilled hmm. uh, you might get rejected okay. in the hr round okay. so you have to be uh, oriented in that Okay that's great thank you so much for sharing your experience and for the suggestions thank and you. yeah thank you say thank you for watching all my videos and giving me so much support so i hope uh, these videos are really helpful if you have any suggestions or any comments please do comment or reach out to me on linkedin or instagram or wherever you want okay and let me know i'll try to implement any anything that you suggest apart from that i would surely suggest that you share my videos and subscribe to my channel while you're watching and stay tuned because i'm going to upload so many more interview experiences in the coming days so because it's still the placement season for the next couple of months at least so for the next couple of months you'll be getting continuous videos so please do subscribe and stay tuned and thank you all for watching